and hello my friends and channel subscribers Greg here from Brisbane Australia with another uncut unedited no bull video today video number five from my series I'm 45 um, the inspiration for this series came from uh, my friends at the gym and my friends in real life that asking me questions and how do I do when I'm aging, you know, how I've got so much energy, the way I look, the way I feel. And I say, you know what, I cannot separately help anyone if they cannot see holistic picture. And I decided to create a series of videos, I am 45, which first just, you know, um, have a brief description of me and how I got to this point. The second one was about the sleep because if you're not sleeping um, nothing else is possible and then was video about breakfast video number four was about lunch this is video number five i call it dinner dinner is very interesting and controversial subject dinner is traditionally the biggest meal of the day and this is i think where a little bit of misconception happens and I explain why. By the way, everything that I mentioned in this video as a supplement, as a food, um, I put in the description down below, I buy my food from Amazon. I don't like go to physical shops. Uh, things from Amazon cost me same or cheaper. It's delivered for free if you've got Amazon membership. Anyhow, I, uh, I digress. Um, check out the video description if you're interested in anything. Dinner. Um, Controversially, it shouldn't be the biggest meal, it should be the smallest meal out of them all. And ideally, you should not have dinner at all. I mentioned it before in my lunch video, the benefit of not having dinner, or people call skipping dinner, that means that you're just getting peckish on hungry stage, that you just before going to bed. So if you, just before going to bed, why to waste money, time and everything else when you just can go to bed and continue what I call fasting protocol. Let's say if you last time eaten at um, 12, 1, maybe 2 p.m. Um, or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. If you go to sleep, whatever time you go to sleep, when you wake up 6 o'clock in the morning, right? or seven or eight, you're already close to, I don't know, 14 to 18 hours of fasting. And um, that's quite impressive. There's a lot of good things happening to body when you fast. But this video is not about fasting. I create another video about fasting. The dinner, the smaller it is, the better sleep it is. So if you eat bigger dinner, your body struggles with digestion and other processes because the whole idea of sleep is to recover. It's not to digest and process. It's to recover and uh, replenish, right? So if you eat big dinner, you almost don't have opportunity for good quality of sleep. But if you eat dinner, make sure that this, if, if you need like family tradition or anything like that, make sure that your dinner is small and make sure that you slow down and have time between dinner and going to sleep at least three to four hours. So small dinners, mostly protein, a little bit of carbohydrates and very little fat because you don't want, uh, you, you're not really breathing well uh, when you're sleeping, your heart rate dropping down, you're not oxidizing fat. So. Uh, breakfast should be a lot of fat, moderate protein, lunch should be uh, everything in moderation and dinner should be moderate protein and moderate carbs and very little portions if you have to eat, ideally you won't eat. And then just before going to sleep I would take a little bit of potassium to replenish your uh, electrolytes, I would be taking magnesium glycinate before going to sleep so it will help you to relax muscle and sleep better and also just before dinner or just after dinner shot of apple cider vinegar make sure that you drink not pasteurized not filtered with the pulp pulp and apple cider vinegar called mother and that's very important because apple cider vinegar help you uh, your gut bacteria or help your gut to become pH neutral or, or acidic it will help you to process that dinner uh, well and help good bacteria to thrive 
and also prep your gut for night time. Magnesium and potassium will help you to relax and, and sleep and basically everything goes from there. Hopefully you won't have dinner, but still if you take apple cider vinegar or magnesium and potassium, you're not breaking fast, so you're all good to go. And that should be your routine for dinner. If you go into gym at night time instead of morning, as I mentioned before, it's very beneficial to exercise on empty stomach for men and also half beneficial for women. And, and by the way, you, I don't know who can exercise on the full stomach. You're not getting any energy from a food you eat. You're just getting that bloating feeling when you exercise. So the idea, you know, after work, if you if you like exercise in the evening, you would go to gym or exercise at home after work and then have your electrolytes and go to sleep. You can also have apple cider vinegar because as we age, our stomach become more alkaline and need to be more acidic. That it. That's it about dinner. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel. Please feel free to subscribe. Please like this video. It helps me to promote a health message. I'm not getting any kickbacks. I'm not getting any sponsoring. So my message, I've got no interest in disseminating information that I do besides helping other people be healthy, happy, and achieve the fitness goals. So please, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you would like to know more. And thank you so much for watching. I've got one more video left. It's exercise and it's coming next. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.